Welcome, this is a second video of a series of small lectures on the construction of hyperreal numbers. Let us start by the beginning, creating the set Rn, the set of all sequences of real number. Let me take the time to set up some notations. I will try my best to be consistent, writing small a, b, c for elements of the real numbers. I will write capital A, B, C for sequence of real numbers and curly A, B, C for the elements of the partition of R, N, but this will be better defined in the future. For a sequence capital A, we will write small a its elements taking value in R. All the notation you may find in books or on the internet are here. And I can tell you right now that a special type of sequence a constant sequence in which all the elements are identical. We will be able to show that those maps onto the real numbers. So if I want to be explicit, I will write capital A with a bar below to express the fact that this is a constant sequence. The next step is to define addition and multiplication on Rn. Once again, we simply define addition of two sequences as the sequence obtained by adding terms of each sequence. And the same holds true for multiplication. We can easily verify that Rn formed a commutative ring under addition and multiplication with additive identity, which is a constant sequence zero, which is simply denoted by a zero with a bar below and multiplicative identity given by the constant sequence 1. Those two elements, 0 and 1, should not be confused with the integers 0 and 1. Yes, they do behave the same way, but they are still elements of Rn. We simply use integer symbols to represent them. We should also note that Rn does not form a field as it has many non-invertible elements. For example, the sequence A, which is defined by 1 everywhere except here when we have a 0. There is no element IA such that A times IA gives us the identity. In fact, there are many elements A and B different from 0, but such that the product AB gives us a constant sequence 0 for example here. Our next step is to define an equivalence relation so that for A and B sequences in Rn we can write A equivalent to B if they agree at a large number of places. Of course we need to specify what we mean by large. It is helpful to define the set EAB as a set of n integers such that a n equal b n. What we need is a way to decide if this set can be de defined or classified as large. First, we need to make sure that the equivalence relation is reflexive. This is in fact satisfied as long as we consider that the set of all natural number is large. Secondly, we need to be sure that the relation we are trying to define is transitive, meaning that if A is equivalent to B and B equivalent to C, we have A equivalent to C. In other words, if the set EAB is large and the set EBC is large, then the set EAC is large. In fact, we can easily convince ourselves that the following relation is always true. And therefore, it would be ideal if the following constraint here would be satisfied by what we want to call the large set. If x and y are large, and if the intersection of x, y is a subset of w, then w is large. This may, seem, may not seem very intuitive at the moment, but it will appear to be very powerful later. Thirdly, we need, to, we need the equivalence relation to be symmetric, and this is in fact automatically satisfied. In addition, we need 
the empty set not to be large. Otherwise, that would lead us to conclude that totally different sequences are equivalent. Finally, one has uh, an additional constraint, which is the following. For any subset x of the set of natural numbers, 1 of x or n minus x must be large. And we surely cannot have both large. In fact, if we look at the sequence 1, 2, and a here, we, we see that the set E1a is a set of odd numbers, and the set E2a is a set of even numbers. And if both of them are large, then we can write that 1 is equivalent to a, and 2 is equivalent to a. Therefore, by transitivity, 1 must be equivalent to 2, which would not be okay. So again, we have this constraint here that only one of the two sets must be large.